Hi there, I'm back again. Today I'm going to talk about Christ the King. When we really think about the fact that Christ the King is the King of our church, of our world, of our universe, of the whole shebang, as you would say in Cape Breton, that's huge and mind blowing. Yet, do we treat Christ like that? Even the children and grandchildren of the queen of our country are treated with pomp and ceremony. But how do we treat Jesus when we walked into his home, his church? There he is, sitting in his beautiful tabernacle, and most of us walk right past him. There was a time when we genuflected towards the tabernacle before we went into our seat to acknowledge Christ's presence. But that seems to have gone by the wayside. I know some of us with bad knees and bad hips like me, would, we tried to genuflect, we'd never get up again. Uh, but there are lots of young and fitter people in the church who could be taught to realize the presence of Jesus. It's basically say, hello, thanks for having me, which is what you would do if you, invi if you invited, were invited to somebody's home. You wouldn't just walk back past them and sit down without acknowledging them. I recently watched a YouTube video by Bishop Barron talking about the Eucharist, and I was shocked to hear that the statistics show that 20% of Catholics believe that the consecrated host and wine actually become the body and blood of Christ. The rest of them think, like all the other denominations, of churches that it symbolizes the body and blood of Christ. Does anyone out there find that shocking? Isn't the most important issue of the Catholic Church the miracle of transubstantiation that happens during every Mass? I look back to when my children were younger and I was taking them to church on Sunday and I realized that I failed big time to teach them why they were genuflecting, why they had to be good and quiet in church. Oh, I told them it was God's house, but I also told them that they had to be good when they visited anybody. What must have been going through their little minds when they came into church? They couldn't see this God I was talking about, and he certainly didn't give them cookies like other people did when we visited. Some kids even th think that the priest is God. My nephew Kevin, when he was about three years old, said to his dad in a very loud whisper as the priest was walking down the aisle, Daddy, I didn't know God was so fat. I know that some of you are saying, well, things have changed, and, and I totally agree. I think it's wonderful that we recognize that we are church and that the church building is a place for us to be community and welcoming to everyone. But we must never stop to recognize the actual presence of Jesus Christ in the tabernacle. So let's all remember to bow or genuflect and say, hello Jesus, thanks for having me. That's it for now. Please let me know your comments. God bless. Talk to you soon. Bye.